May I begin by telling you a story? <laughs> After that, I want to share another poem with you. It's a prayer poem written about almost 100 years ago now. But the story comes out of my own home, in a way. My mother-in-law and father-in-law were as great as you can ever, ever expect in-laws to be. They were wonderful. I miss them very, very much. They have gone on to be with the Lord. But every time I was in their home, there was some observation that left me with a little bit of humor and a lot of warm feelings. My wife's father was named Charlie Brown. <laughs> and he looked like Charlie Brown. <laughs> And he was just a great man of God. He had been married to Elma for, oh my, well over 50 years. I think they would have celebrated their 100th wedding anniversary just about. But life changed all of that. But once, you know, when, you, when you've lived with each other for so long and you're old and your hearing begins to go, you really don't talk to each other, you just mumble. <laughs> and you don't hear each other, you just know what they said. <laughs> and I'm sitting at breakfast with Charlie Brown, enjoying that time with him. And Elma comes in and says, Charlie, you ready for your oatmeal? Charlie says, I don't want any oatmeal, Elma. I'll be right back with it. <laughs> <laughs> So she comes back with the oatmeal and sets it in front of him and says, I didn't want the oatmeal, Elma told you I didn't want the oatmeal. Oh, that's right, Charlie. You like to mix jelly with it. I'm sorry, I don't want the jelly, Elma. I don't want the oatmeal. Do that. I'll be right back. <laughs> so she comes back with the jelly and sets it there. He spoons some out and puts in his oatmeal. He says, I didn't want the oatmeal. I didn't want the jelly, Elma. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the milk. You like milk? Don't want the milk, Elma. Don't want the jelly. Don't want the milk. I'll be right back. <laughs> so she comes back and places the milk there, and he says, I didn't want any oatmeal, didn't want the jelly, didn't want any milk, Elma. I told you that. Enjoy. And she goes back in the kitchen. Now, I'm controlling myself so I'm up to now. <laughs> but he mixes all of this together and eats it. And then he turns to me and says, I always have my oatmeal, son. <laughs> That's when I lost it. <laughs> Well, this point is one that I think you will appreciate because it so applies to what we're talking about. Lord, help me live from day to day in such a self-forgetful way that even when I kneel to pray, my prayer will be for others. Help me, Lord, in the work I do to ever be sincere and true and know that what I do for you must needs be done for others. Others, Lord, yes, others. Let this my motto be. Help me to live for others that I might live for thee. Pretty much says it, that. Yeah.